what we have here is we have one of our Rosa devices, but right now, sitting under the Rosa, the Rosa sees us, the Rosa knows that we're humans, it knows how many of us uh, that are here, and it's doing whatever it is that we've asked it to do. Right now, we've asked it to only look for firearm detection. How, how far out can Rosa detect a gun? But we've tested it to 250 feet. And what's she going to do when, when a gun shows up? In this particular case, what Rosa's going to do is it's going to enunciate locally, I believe. I think we're enunciating locally. Firearm detected. Wow. Lockdown initiated. Wow. And there we Key go. shelter in place. Now, and I want to paint a couple pictures right now, okay? Number okay. one, Jeremy's wearing gray and gray, which is typically harder colors to detect against the black background. Okay. What that means is that the visual complexity of this image to pick off that weapon and do the detection this is a higher degree of difficulty to get a positive ID off of that right now, and yet in two or three seconds we got it. And when when Rosa detected, the, Iran detected. How far Locked away is the, the school? Where is this going to be located at the on the school or the campus? What we're looking for for the safety of the school and the students is to be able to pick off a positive detection when the shooter takes the case out of their car. Well, yeah. this will be interesting to see the detection here. Yeah. The way he's carrying that gun. So we're about three seconds in, four seconds in, five seconds in. Firearm detected. Wow. Locked a little down, bit longer. It took a little bit Please longer. Shelter in place. Just yeah. making sure that extra second or? Absolutely, it's making sure. So we run it through multiple validations from multiple shots because we have detected. to try to create Locked as down, few false positives as possible. Oh. Big difference. Okay. Because every second, literally every second counts. So